or we want to determine equivalent resistance between P and Q. So how can be determined? First of all, if you see the circuit, that point, that point, that point and that point are same potential and if just that, that one is Q, so it is also Q, it is also Q, it is also Q, it is also Q. Clear or not? Similarly, that, that point P, that point P and that point P. Clear or not? Same thing. Now, next one. If this one is X, so this is also X. Okay? Clear or not? After that, if you redraw, if you redraw the circuit again, okay? This one is P and that is Q. Clear? This one is P and that is Q. Okay? Now, what about resistance between P and Q? P and Q only R. Okay? R that is R like this one. After that, P connected to X, P connected to X. It means P connected to X. Suppose that that is X here. So R and that point is P. Okay. P connected to X and P connected to X again. So P connected to X. Clear? Both are parallel. After that, X connected to Q x connected to q and x connected to q clear so x connected to q x connected to q and x connected to q clear or not so that is r and this is r this is r also clear or not our motto determine equivalent resistance p and q clear so after that if you see again that one these two parallel so combination of these two that is r by 2 you can also written as r by 2 and combination of these three also parallel so you can say that is r by 3 clear or not clear so after that redraw again this one is r and that one and that one r by 2 here r by 3 and here r and that is P and here Q. Clear or not? Clear? So, combination of these two, combination of these two, these two, R by 2 and R by 3, that is 5 R by 6, that is 5 R by 6, okay? That is 5 R by 6. And these two are parallel so r of pq is written as r into 5 r by 6 into r divided by r plus 5 r by 6 so finally we got 5 r by 11 is the final answer clear or not clear make it